Hi! Um, okay, so I was going to do a Chapter 3 review, but then I realized I covered most of Chapter 3 in my last video. Really, the only thing I didn't cover yet was vectors and scalars. So I was going to do this, and I've been sick all weekend, so just <laughs> ignore the sweatpants. Um, first of all, what is a vector and what is a scalar? So, vector and scalar. A vector is something that has magnitude and direction. Magnitude is never negative. It's always positive, but the direction can be negative, if that makes sense. And then a scalar is just magnitude. So an example of a scalar would be um, speed. Speed is never negative, it's always positive, doesn't matter which direction it goes in, if it goes up or down or to the left or the right or whatever, it's always going to be positive. Whereas with a vector, if it's going in the negative direction, it's going to be negative because it has direction. So you could have um, velocity is, I don't know, 5 meters per second this way. But then if it goes in the negative direction this way, it's going to be negative 5 meters per second. That makes sense because vector can be negative, scalar cannot. Anyways, um, oh I didn't get a paper towel to wipe it off with. Um, so how do you add together vectors and scalars? I'm just going to do the examples from the practice test because those ones are pretty good. Um, so. Consider vectors a and b. Which of the following best represents a plus b? So a looks like this, and then b looks like this. Alright, and what is a plus b? Now with vectors, one thing that we want to pay attention to is the tip and the tail. On a vector there's a tail, which is the end without an arrow, and there's the tip, the end with an arrow. And a vector, the only thing that it needs to be is it always has to point in the same direction. We always have to have A going up and we always have to have B going at this angle. But other than that, we can move them around. We could put like B over here if we wanted. Or we could put A down there. Well, that's too short to be A. It also has to be the same length. But um, we're not going to do that. We're actually going to put them into a triangle. So when you are adding vectors, you want to put the tail of B to the tip of A. So it's going to look like this. So here's A, and here is B. And then we want to draw the line connecting these two. So we've got a line connecting these two, but does the line go this way or this way? Well, in this case, we know that the line is going to go this way because it, the line that you draw, which is A plus B, so we're just going to write that in, is always going to go from the tail of A to the tip of B. So your triangle, it shouldn't be where everything's like flowing in the same direction. It should not flow. It should kind of meet at a corner. Where this one, there's one arrow up there, there's none there, and there's two there, if that makes sense. Um, and then for vector subtraction, I think we have the same things. Yeah, it's still A and B, except now we're going to do A minus B. So A minus B. Now, when you think about subtraction, with vectors, it's easiest to think of it as adding a negative number. So A plus negative B. And when a vector is negative, really all we... When we have a negative vector, we can just flip it upside down. So instead of having the tip here now, we're going to make this the tail, make this the tip, and call this negative b. So now we're just going to do the exact same thing that we did before. We're going to have a is going to go up like this. Oh, that's terrible. Um, let's see. a is going to go up, and then we're going to have B is going like that, and it goes like this. So here's A, here's negative B, 
And now we have to draw the line that connects them. So we're also, we're still going to go from the tail of A to the tip of B. So we're just going to draw it just like that, just complete the triangle, and then there is A minus B. Not too hard. Um, it is a bit tricky because there aren't like equations that you can plug into, which makes it easy. You really just have to memorize how to do it, but once you get it, it's pretty simple. Um, hopefully that was helpful. Um, feel free to email me or text me with any questions. I'll be in the cab at like 7 a.m. tomorrow. So if you need extra help, um, just come find me. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, bye!